a lot of people have been wondering over the last couple of years why the president frequently seems so deferential to Vladimir Putin or friendly towards Russia. During today's meeting, I addressed directly with President Putin the issue of Russian interference in our elections. I have great confidence in my intelligence people, but uh, I will tell you that President Putin was extremely strong and powerful in his denial today. Buying a luxury condominium with cash isn't illegal, and buying it in the name of a corporation or an LLC is not illegal on its own. What would make it illegal is if you're doing that with criminal proceeds. So if you're a Russian oligarch and you've got all this money from your corrupt operations over there, you want to park your money someplace safe where people won't ask questions about it. There was a study that found that there were more than 80 purchases from people either in Russia or other former Soviet states who were paying cash for condos or other units in Trump-owned properties, Trump Organization properties, valued at more than $100 million. Classic money laundering is literally cleaning up your money. Breaking Bad is an example of that. This is the nail salon, right? I take your dirty money and I slip it into the salon's nice, clean cash flow. You're trying to conceal the nature or origin or source of criminal proceeds so that if they're discovered, they'll look legitimate. Final step, integration. The revenues from the salon go to the owner. That's you. Your filthy drug money has been transformed into nice, clean, taxable income brought to you by a savvy investment in a thriving business. There are currently at least three different bodies investigating the president's financial dealings and any possible allegations of money laundering or, or financial ties to Russia. We've got the Mueller investigation. Mueller's investigation is primarily looking at possible Russian interference with the election and whether any members of the Trump campaign were involved. And then you have prosecutors in the Southern District of New York and they're doing a whole series of separate investigations, possibly looking at money laundering involving the inaugural committee. Their focus is on where their crimes committed uh, in our district. And you've got Congress, Congressman Schiff's committee, that wants to investigate these financial allegations and possible money laundering because they're concerned whether the president might be compromised, whether Russia has some source of influence over him based on financial ties or, or information they have about money laundering. We need to know, for example, whether the Russians have financial leverage over the president of the United States that's warping U.S. policy in a pro-Russian direction. So the possible allegations are that you know, President Trump, when he was a businessman before he became president, may have had these ties with the uh, Russians who were engaged in money laundering. As a businessman, that's one thing. Uh, and we'd be concerned about that because of the possible criminal violations and the, and the laundering taking place. Now, as president, you get into a whole other area of concern, which is, does that give people in Russia any leverage over the president? Either because he still has financial ties there or because they know things about the Trump Organization's involvement in possible money laundering that they could threaten to expose. And I think that's the primary concern of the House of Representatives and why they want to explore these allegations of potential money laundering, even if they took place before Trump was president.